parking travels across Kansas City and the metro heading east with the jet stream. Now take a look at Irva's course here. You can see where it is right now heading up towards Florida. Now that jet stream air is going to push on Irma right in the Florida section and it could push it out more towards the Gulf, excuse me, more towards the Atlantic or it could bring it in more towards Tallahassee in the Gulf. So that it's baselined properly. Audra Henneke is getting ready for the next flight to 100,000 feet. It's basically a box full of instruments. The radio sounds calibration is essential. It's a very strong storm. It's one of the strongest. For 24 hours, Irma has sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. It's heading right for Florida. So that they can plan ahead properly and evacuate people as needed. So we've got the right amount of gas. And this is where we keep all our hydrogen in here. Normally, the National Weather Service in Topeka launches two balloons each day. 50 Weather Service offices across the country are doubling the launches. This one with the dome is our humidity sensor. Which will more accurately alert people in the storm's path, saving lives and property. See how it's going from the sensors gather humidity, and temperature, uh, and GPS location during a 90-minute journey to the stratosphere where the balloon pops. It'll pop. You good? Meteorologists in Kansas and Missouri are doing their best to warn those in the path of the hurricane. We know of the devastation that is possible for our coastal neighbors, so we are eager to help in whatever way that we can. And that instrument, the, the radio sun, is just incredible. It takes a measure every second during that 90-minute journey, but it comes at a price. Each of those is about 300.